Are you tired of getting poor quality sleep while on a backpacking trip? Well, those days are through, my friend. I've been doing tons of research about the best ways to get quality sleep, and in fact, I have a whole new system. I am entirely overhauling it, starting right now. Check out what I've got behind me. I have learned so much about getting good sleep in the outdoors. Starting from my old days of sleeping on Z lights and just foam mattresses, I feel like I am like a king out here, sleeping so, so good. And it is all thanks to some new products here that have come out recently. Actually, this thing right here is brand spanking new. This is the Ranger 3-in-1 from Big Agnes. Now, this kind of blew my mind when I saw this. I, I didn't know what to think of it because I hadn't seen a sleep system like it. Now this is a, a brand new thing. This is the ultralight version. This is a 20 degree sleep system from Big Agnes. But if that's not good enough for you, I've got some ways for you to make it even warmer that are pretty dead simple. And I really like how this thing goes. This, first of all, this is the Ranger uh, three in one. Now, what does that even mean? There is actually two sleeping bags going on in here. You buy this system and you get two sleeping bags. One is the inner sleeping bag. That is your traditional mummy bag um, that comes with this one. You've got a handy little guidance system here. The inner bag is rated to 35 degrees. So you could sleep with this guy by itself if you're, say, really wanting that warm, cozy comfort of a mummy bag. Ooh, we've got some weather coming in. Um, that's rated to 35 degrees. Um, and so you can just use this on its own, but it slides into this other sleeping bag system that looks a lot more like a quilt. So if you are an ultralight backpacker and you are super a fan, if you are a super fan, I should say, of quilts, then you're going to really like this system because this outer bag is rated on its own to 50 degrees. Now that's not uh, a huge amount of warmth, I will give it that, but it's so stinking comfortable when you pair them together. So it's more than just a quilt because a quilt often has uh, very little or minimal, maybe just a strap connection to the side. And this actually wraps all the way around it and connects and secures to your sleeping mattress, which is makes a huge, huge difference. It is so much more comfortable because it kind of feels like you're sleeping in a bed. So what I really like about this thing is that this fully zips on this side up and down. Now, um, if you are just a single person, uh, you can just keep it like this. I have heard, I haven't done this in practice, but that you could actually connect this system to a second one and then therefore double up your sleeping capacity to two people and have uh, an intimate experience. So uh, that's pretty cool. I haven't tried it. This is a brand new system. Uh, I am excited to try that out, so to speak. But first and foremost, this combination is super, super cool. I really like it. And perhaps the best thing about it ever is that it has this pillow pocket. This is amazing. I don't know why this, uh, this is the first I've seen of it, but it is to me like the most important development in sleep quality since the invention of uh, mattresses. It locks your pillow in place so that it doesn't slide all around and slide off because, and that's super important because if you are sleeping in your sleeping bag, you shouldn't have your pillow. It's done wrong if you put your pillow in here. And the main thing is, is that you can't mummy it up. You can't fit your head in here too. So in most scenarios, you're left with just putting your pillow, uh, you know, kind of outside your bag. You zip this up around your head. And then this thing's just going to go whoop, slide right off. And uh, you have to then reach out of your mummy bag and try to get that to go back under your head. And you're just kind of fiddling with it all night. And it's uh, just not great. So um, I love having this be there. 
I love having this bag here. So the way that this works is that it's 50 degrees solo. So if you want a really light bag, summer bag on its own, you could just ditch this. You could just, you know, I don't need to carry that. I'm just gonna pair that with my sleeping pad or mattress and you're gonna have a great comfortable experience for those summer nights. Um, and if you're kind of like a quilt sleeper, if you like that, this is gonna be very similar to that. It's not wasting insulation underneath you. So you're combining it with a good R value pad and you know you can have a great night's sleep that way. If you need the warmer comfort or the warmer protection for colder temps, add this bag in and then you've got a really a more robust system that'll keep you comfortable down to about 20 degrees. Now it's been winter and I have actually needed even more cold weather protection than that. So one of the things that I've been doing is actually adding in my other lightweight ultralight bag and ditching this one and actually carrying this with my existing 20 degree bag which has been giving me protection down to about 10 degrees of comfort. The other night it was down to 14 degrees and I was sleeping comfortably in that system. So it was a really awesome combination. Having this quilt on top really adds some nice warmth. It feels super cozy. One of the things that I also like is that you can unzip the mummy and have your arms free. Actually, let me, it's time to actually get in the bag and demonstrate some of these things. You can stay mummied up or you can have your hands kind of free and you can cozy up with the quilt here. And it's just, it feels like you're in bed uh, at home. So I really, really like that. If you're mummied up like this, the pillow is gonna stay in place. You can cinch all that up and have a properly cinched up head around, around your head. Uh, and it's just the right way to do your sleeping bag. So I hope you can hear me and it's not too muffly. Uh, but that pad or the, excuse me, that pillow isn't going anywhere. I can roll around a whole bunch and get totally lost in here. <laughs> oh no, how do I get out? <laughs> so basically what I'm saying, folks, is that having this dual sleeping bag system, I thought right off the bat that it was like, okay, Big Agnes is just trying to jump on the, the quilt game and I had my reservations. But now that I've actually been sleeping in it, I love it so, so much. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna change positions here, one second. Okay, now the other part of the equation of what makes this sleep system so great is that I have started pairing it with a 25 inch wide mattress. Now, for a long time, I was just going with what was lightest, which was a 20 inch wide mattress pad. And I really, really liked those systems. Then I, almost by accident, uh, well, actually it was by accident, I got the 25 inch wide pad and I was like, oh, dang it, I got the wrong one. Um, but I started using it and what I started noticing was that it just gives you that extra buffer. Your elbows aren't falling off the pad at night, which I really like because a 25 inch wide pad, or excuse me, a 20 inch wide pad is basically as wide as my butt is. And then that 25 inch wide pad gives me just that much extra room on the sides. I feel like I have way more latitude to move around without falling off my pad, which means I'm not touching the cold ground, which means I'm not getting cold at night, which means I'm sleeping great. Okay, the takeaway is that if you find the right sleeping pad, sleeping mattress, and sleeping bag, it's going to make a huge world of difference in your sleep quality. And I think that that is one of the most overlooked components of really enjoying backpacking. If you're getting good sleep, you are enjoying yourself. And then that means you can go harder. You can have better adventures. You're not tired. You're not just waiting till you can get home and finally get some good rest. It makes a huge difference. So this to me is such a revolutionary sleep system. I love it. 
I am so in favor of it. It's lightweight, it's packable, and it's so stinking comfortable. I've been getting the best nights of sleep ever, ever since I started using this system. So this is a brand new system from Big Agnes. Um, I believe that the price is $350. I'm gonna have to price check that. So here's the actual price. Oh, there we go. Thank you, handy editor. Um, so that is a tiny bit pricey, but there is a version that's not the ultralight. If you want that, if you wanna save a little bit of money, get the non-ultralight version. Obviously it's gonna be a little bit bigger, a little bulkier, a little heavier, but it's a great thing if you have uh, you know, some budgetary constraints. So the thing, there's so many things that I love about it. I love that I can pair it with multiple bags. You could combine this outer system with an existing bag you already own to get down that extra warmth for colder nights. I love it. You just use whatever you want for those warmer summer temperatures. It gives you so much latitude throughout the whole year. It is dead comfortable. I love it so much. So have you tried it out? Would you try this out? I'd love to hear from you. This is the Big Agnes Lost Ranger 3-in-1 combined with the Q-Core SLX 25-inch wide pad, also from Big Agnes. I have no affiliation with Big Agnes. This is not a paid thing. I just am super excited about the new thing that they came out with, and I wanted to share that love with you. If you enjoyed this, if you have thoughts on it, I want to hear from you. Nature has its thoughts, apparently. It's saying it's time to get out of here. So I'm going to wrap it up. Cut it out here. It's time to go. I'm Eric Hansen. Thanks for watching. I'm out.